Ever wondered how the luxurious champagne came into existence? Let's take a trip back in time to the 17th century, to the lush vineyards of the Champagne region in France. This is where the story of our beloved bubbly begins, a place where the monks, yes, monks, made an effervescent discovery that would change the course of celebrations forever. In this scenic region, monks inadvertently stumbled upon the fizzy delight that is Champagne. Their secret, a phenomenon known as secondary fermentation. The cold temperatures of the region would halt the fermentation process, trapping carbon dioxide and creating those delightful bubbles we all know and love. Champagne quickly became more than just a wine. It transformed into a symbol of luxury and celebration, a sparkling testament to life's special moments. From toasts at lavish parties to quiet romantic dinners, the world fell in love with the effervescence of champagne. And thus, in the heart of France, the story of Champagne began. The birth of Champagne was, in fact, a happy accident. How's that for a plot twist? Picture this. Monks in the tranquil Champagne region of France, dedicated to their vinicultural craft, inadvertently stumbled upon something extraordinary. It was the effervescent properties of wine, discovered through the phenomenon known as secondary fermentation. Now let's break this down. You see, fermentation is a natural process that transforms grape juice into wine. But sometimes, under certain conditions, this process can take a pause, and that's exactly what happened in the cool cellars of these monks. The chilly temperatures halted the fermentation, creating a pause, a suspense in the transformation process. But nature, being the ultimate dramatist, had a surprise in store. When spring arrived, the fermentation process reignited, but this time within the confines of the bottle. This resulted in the trapping of carbon dioxide, the very gas that gives soda its fizz, and voila! The wine was no longer just wine, it had bubbles, it had sparkle, it had life. This inadvertent pause and play of fermentation gave birth to the delightful bubbles that make champagne, well, champagne. The monks had not set out to create this bubbly beverage, but their accidental discovery has since brought joy to countless celebrations. So remember, sometimes accidents can lead to the most delightful surprises. From an accident, a refined technique was born. Just as the best things often come from unexpected places, so too did the Method Champenoise. This winemaking technique, born from the monk's accidental discovery, is now the heart of what makes champagne, well, champagne. The Method de Champenoise is a meticulous process that involves inducing a secondary fermentation right inside the bottle. It's an elaborate dance of science and art, a delicate ballet that transforms a simple bottle of wine into the spectacle of effervescence we know and love. This process is not for the faint of heart. It requires patience and precision. First, a dose of yeast and sugar, known as the liqueur de tirage, is added to the still wine. The bottles are then sealed and the magic begins. The yeast feasts on the sugar, producing alcohol and carbon dioxide, which gives our beloved bubbly its signature sparkle. But the méthode champenoise doesn't stop there. The bottles are then subjected to a process called riddling, where they're gradually tilted and turned to gather the yeast sediment in the neck of the bottle. This is followed by disgorging, where the sediment is removed, and the bottle is topped off with a dosage to define the final sweetness level. The result? A sparkling wine with complex flavors, fine bubbles, and a certain je ne sais quoi that sets it apart. Innovation often stems from unexpected beginnings, just like the méthode champenoise. From humble origins, champagne soon found its way into the halls of royalty and glamour. The effervescent drink, born from a chance discovery by monks in the Champagne region of France, began to bubble its way up to the pinnacle of prestige. As the distinct method Champenoise was perfected, the unique sparkling wine started to captivate palates far beyond its birthplace. What began as a local secret soon caught the attention of those with a taste for the finer things in life. Champagne became the drink of choice at royal coronations, where the clink of crystal flutes echoed through grand halls and the bubbles danced in the light of grand chandeliers. Kings and queens toasted to their reigns with the golden liquid and the association with royalty imbued champagne with an aura of grandeur and luxury. But the allure of champagne wasn't limited to the nobility. It began to sparkle under the flashing lights of Hollywood, where it flowed freely at red carpet events. Movie stars and moguls raised their glasses high, toasting to success with the same effervescent wine that had once been sipped by kings and queens. 
The golden bubbles became synonymous with celebration, success, and the glamour of the silver screen. The once modest wine had transformed into a symbol of elegance and indulgence. It was no longer just a drink, but a lifestyle, a statement, a testament to one's taste and sophistication. Champagne, once an accidental discovery, was now the toast of the town. Today, champagne is more than just a drink. It's a symbol of sophistication and refinement. A toast raised high in glistening crystal flutes, the sparkle of its fine bubbles is a sight to behold. In the language of wine, champagne speaks volumes about elegance, luxury, and the art of living well. Over the centuries, champagne has evolved into a global icon, a testament to its enduring charm and legacy. It has transcended geographical boundaries, weaving its way into the fabric of cultures far and wide. From the vibrant nightlife of New York to the serene vineyards of Australia, from the bustling streets of Tokyo to the romantic canals of Venice, champagne is the universal language of celebration understood and appreciated by all. And what makes it so special? It's the nuanced flavors that dance on the palate, a symphony of taste that is both complex and delightful, the fine bubbles that tickle the senses, a lively tango of effervescence and finesse, and the timeless appeal that transcends trends, a classic allure that never goes out of style. Whether you're a connoisseur with a discerning palate or an enthusiast with a passion for the finer things in life, champagne has something to offer you. It invites you to savor the moment, to celebrate the now, to toast to the joys of life. From intimate gatherings to grand celebrations, champagne continues to sparkle in our glasses and in our hearts, a testament to its enduring charm and legacy.